What's up YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to be replacing the clutch and the slave cylinder. Now if you follow my channel you would see that I already took out the transmission. So we got the transmission out. All I got to do is take off the clutch, take off the flywheel, have it resurfaced, and then, then I can put the new clutch and, and put the old flywheel back on. And then we can also replace the slave cylinder. So just in case you're new to the channel, this is the truck that we're working on. Single cab, 1998 pickup with the 4.3 V6. Now let me show you all the parts we got for this job. So here's the transmission. It's already taken out. Old slave cylinder still on. We gotta do that. And then over here is where I have the parts. Here's the new clutch, there's the new slave cylinder, and this is a new transmission mount that I got because the old transmission mount has a crack that runs all the way through it. See it right there on the left? And then it runs all the way through this side and comes out over there. So I got had to get a new transmission mount. So that's what's in this red box. So here's the new clutch. by the brand Luke. Ah. So there she is. And then we got a new slave cylinder. Let's go show this off a little bit. There it is, also by the same brand. should be very simple. It looks like it's just two bolts holding this thing on. So we got that. And yeah, so looks like we are ready for this job. All right, so let's go ahead and just get the old clutch and flywheel off first and then we'll go from there. planning on replacing the rear main sill but after looking at it it's very dry doesn't look to be leaking at all 
So I'm just gonna leave the rear main sill. But what is leaking is the oil pan where this gasket, this little right under the main seal, that's what seems to be leaking oil is the oil pan gasket. I think maybe what I can do is just maybe put some silicone or some sort of sealant just right here where because it's leaking like right here. It's either that or take the oil pan down and redo it. We'll see. Now that we got the flywheel off, we can go ahead and install the new pilot bearing. But before we do that, we gotta get the old pilot bearing out. This is the new pilot bearing that we're going to be installing. I just got back from my local machine shop where I took my old flywheel to be refinished. And this is what it looks like afterwards. It's basically just refinished it from here to here. Whole thing. Looks good.
right, so now that we got the flywheel seated onto the engine, now we need to go ahead and torque all six bolts down. From the research I've done online, I pretty much am seeing that people are saying 75 foot-pounds for the 4.3 V6. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my torque wrench. It's pretty long. Um, I'll set it to 75 foot-pounds and we'll go ahead and torque all six bolts down. So now that we got the clutch and flywheel bolted up, we can go ahead and bolt up the new slave cylinder.
All right, we got the four brace bolts on. We got two on this side, two on that side. We got the new transmission mount mounted up. Now we can go ahead and plug in all our connections like I did here. It's literally just two connections. There's one here for the speedometer. This one, I'm not sure what this one is, but I got that connected. And then all we have left is this one, but I think there's nowhere to plug it in. So I think what this goes to is to the O2 sensor for the exhaust when I put that back on. So we'll leave this hanging for right now. And let's see what else we got here. So we just got to get the exhaust back on and the shifter and all that stuff.
almost there. I got the drive shaft put in now. We got the exhaust put in. We just got two more things we need to do. We need to put the shifter assembly on and we need to put a brand new clutch master cylinder in the, in the engine bay. That's all. And then we can start it up and I'll take you guys on the test drive. All right, I almost forgot. We gotta put transmission fluid back in the transmission. So I went down to the store, I picked up some transmission oil, or gear oil, whatever you wanna call it, and then also picked up this. This mounts right on top of this bottle here, and we're gonna pump it. See the little pump? We're gonna be pumping it into the side of the transmission through the little fill hole. The reason why I'm going into the side is because I already put the shifter assembly back on the top of the transmission. I totally forgot about the damn oil. If I would have remembered, I would have just got this alone. I wouldn't have bought this and I would have poured this through the top of the transmission and where the shifter goes. But I already put it on. I don't want to take it off again. So I ended up picking up this. We're going to fill it through the side. So let's get that filled up real quick. Just got back from AutoZone with the new master cylinder. It's the full kit. No bleeding necessary. It's pre-bled. There's already fluid in the system. 
comes with everything reservoir line and then this the switch and a little tool for taking these things on and off so let's go ahead and put it in and that's all we need that's all that's left to do and we can start her up and see if she, how she runs Now all I got to do is connect this rod that comes with the master cylinder kit. This is for the pedal and this is what engages the clutch uh, master cylinder. This thing here is a switch so that way you can turn on the vehicle because some cars you have to push the clutch in in order for the vehicle to start. That's what that is. So I'll go ahead and put it on. And we'll see if she starts. Looks like we're gonna have to address that tire. There it is, finally off the jack stands after about three months. Finally. Shifting gears, and we're driving. Let's put it in third gear. Went in third gear just fine. How's it feel, Kobe? Does it feel good? Sorry, I forgot to open your window. Going into second, there's a slight I don't know what you'd call it, a grind or something. It feels like metal to metal when I go into second gear. It didn't feel like that before. But maybe we just need to drive and get the transmission fluid, you know, 
going through the transmission. Because right now it's pretty much all just sitting at the bottom because I just filled it up. So maybe once the fluid gets mixed in the transmission, it'll feel a little better. And maybe I need to go through all the gears. So I'll get on a bit, I'll get on the main street and we'll run it all the way to fifth gear just to get all the juices flowing in the transmission, I guess. But it's driving. I'm happy. I never been so happy to drive this truck. <laughs> been three months. Okay. Let's try it again. First gear. No grinding. Smooth. Second gear. Felt a little weird again. Third gear. Fourth gear. And I got another stop sign coming. Get in fifth gear after the stop sign. Alright. Fourth gear. truck's driving again, now I can take it to work again. Can't believe everything worked out. So I guess you're supposed to be pretty gentle on a brand new clutch for about 500 miles. That's the break-in period. And after that, we could do some burnouts. No, I'm joking. Not until we get a V8, then we'll do some burnouts. Let's see if the second gear still feels a little weird. We've been driving for a little while now, so let's try it again first. Uh, it feels alright, I guess. Can't really complain too much. I'm just happy everything's working. So just a little reminder. Everything we changed, brand new clutch, brand new slave cylinder, brand new clutch master cylinder, and what else? That's it, I guess, really. All right, well, everything seems to work great. The truck's running and driving, goes through all the gears just fine. So I'm gonna end this video here. If you watched the video to the end, thank you for staying and watching. I got some more videos coming out soon. I'm planning on doing LED tail lights pretty soon and a couple other mods. Um, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It helps me out. I really wanna reach 1,000 subscribers this year. So, alright guys, thanks for watching.